All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So this video is gonna be about how to work with live wires. And I was gonna do a whole setup with just a switch, a light, and a plug and stuff like that, how to add, just how to tie a circuit in. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just use what I have, this existing circuit right here. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to take something apart here real quick. Um, and then maybe um, put something back together as well. We'll see how it all goes. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the circuit right here um, with my extension cord, wire this back up. So as you can see, we got the light bulb working here and this is just the switch leg coming up from the box right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to disconnect this. Um, so you can grab the wires, obviously it has insulation on it, um, but you're gonna want to make sure nothing is exposed um, with nicks or anything like that. Um, and then the ground wire should not have any power on that, but you can always check that with a meter. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So one thing that you do wanna um, make sure is um, when you go to take these wire nuts off that you're holding them firmly. Um, so most, if you, if you do your connections right, they're gonna hold whether you take the wire nuts off or not, um, if they're properly twisted. Um, you're gonna want to start basically one at a time, but for this, for at the moment, I'm just gonna um, take, take these apart so I can do a little test here real quick to show you some voltages and stuff in between. So I've always wanted to know, um, is there a resistance load on the neutral with a light bulb on what the unbalanced load is? So you got your, got your 120 right here with the neutral and then from the neutral to the ground it says zero. So I guess everything is being burnt up right there. Uh, so there's no, so there's nothing on the neutral. So technically can't touch the neutral in this case and the ground. So, um, but for the video, I want to show you guys here. Uh, you're going to want to do these one at a time. Obviously the ground doesn't really matter, um, but you're going to want to take these off one at a time and you always start with the hot. Um, in this case for 120, you start backwards. So normally when you wire something up, you wire it from ground neutral to hot. Um, and that's because the ground is the protection. Um, and so when you do it in reverse, you wanna take the hot, the hot off because if you take the ground off first, then you're not gonna have any safety if you get shocked or anything like that, then there's gonna be no way to stop the circuit. The circuit breaker is not gonna to know to turn it off and you're just basically gonna get electrocuted to death if something goes terribly wrong. Um, but any, anyways, once again, um, there is a few certain ways to work hot. Um, if you have to take something apart, you can always untwist these wires, just kind of un unwrap them around each other. Um, but another way is basically the only time I use my linemans is to grab these wires here. And once again, once you grab these wires, the linemans are gonna become hot, the metal um, that has insulation on it, insulation on the handles. So once again, if you have any nicks or cuts in your uh, tools, um, don't be grabbing it because you're gonna feel it. So once again, you're going to want to um, just grab onto the wires and uh, make sure that you are not touching the exposed stripped copper. And then once you do that, make sure you keep them, you can keep them apart for safety, but you have to figure out which side is the power and the power is coming from the bottom. So this would be your power right here. Um, and you can check that again with your um, little hot pen. So you can obviously see this is just a switch leg going to the light, nothing's there. Um, this is the power side. And then once you get that done, you can just undo the neutrals. There's gonna be nothing on there now, but I'll show you the other way to do this. So I use my linemans on the last set and on these ones, you can just um, kind of unfold the wire around itself. And then there you go, you have the neutrals taken apart and the grounds, as always, are gonna be more complex. And same with the pigtails, you can just untwist the pigtails. I don't know why this has a pigtail on it, but basically just untwist it from itself. And you can do this with strippers too, or even um, your channel locks. The channel locks 
right here do have shorter um, sheathing, so you have to be careful not to um, grab anything that's hot and accidentally touch the um, metal. So once again, you can use your channel locks if you need to, or you can just use your basic strippers. It's gonna be a little bit harder because strippers are um, a lot smaller, unless you have like the lineman one with the big heads on them. Um, but once again, that's pretty much how to take it apart and how to put it back together. Let's just do that at the same time. So I guess I just took the grounds all apart and dropped all the wire nuts, so that's great. Um, but once again, start backwards with your, or start on the regular way with your grounds. Um, so ground for safety, just tie those together. And then your neutrals, you're gonna want to, if you have to straighten these back out, another case of using the linemans, if these wires are kind of crooked and bent, just kind of press down on it and flatten it out. It's one thing I do like to use the linemans for. Straighten the wire back out right there. Same on this one. And so thanks for those who voted on the Instagram poll who wanted to see this live video today instead of doing a half hot installation. So make sure to tune in on my Instagram to vote. Sometimes I'll do polls and ask, what do you guys want to see today? I did a 50-50 vote um, versus live work versus how to install a half hot switch or half hot plug. So once again, this one is a little bit crooked. This one is crooked still. I'm gonna straighten these back out. Makes it easier to install. Once again, don't touch any of the metal on the linemans once you grab the live wire and go to straighten it out. So there you go. And now to do the hot work, um, once obviously once you touch it together, the light's gonna turn back on. Sometimes I'll make a little bit of little baby sparks, but nothing to be concerned about. Um, but once again, just line up your wires and then hold on to the insulation of the wires and then just put your wire knot on there like normal. And obviously everyone's been, a few people have been freaking out, don't work live. Obviously. The, Obviously people know not to work live, but in certain cases when you can't avoid it, it's gonna it's bound to come up. You're, if you're an electrician, it's gonna happen one day or another. So it's good to know some safety tips on how to work live if you're going to, or you have to sometimes. So hopefully this helps you out um, how to work live um, safely. Um, and uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it to help the channel grow. And I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Coming up with a big giveaway here at 10,000 soon. So that'll be in like less than a month. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to check the description for anything else, especially the link tree in the first link below with pretty much everything you need to know from there. Um, and then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.